Infertile couples are having their parenthood dreams shattered as increased demand makes it harder than ever to import eggs and sperm from overseas. Victoria's IVF donor rules are the strictest in the country, but authorities say they're just protecting children. Victoria has some of the strictest laws in the world when it comes to importing donor eggs. Effectively, it requires patients to go interstate or potentially even worse internationally. So I've already had a number of patients who said, well, if that's the case, then I'll just go to Spain. Definitely demand outstrips supply. The state's regulator, Varta, must approve all applications before donor eggs are shipped in from overseas. And that's because our legislation ensures that the rights of the child are the paramount consideration. So the various rules that we have are really about protecting their interests. In Victoria, there are four legal requirements. The donor must not be paid. They must be willing for donor children to contact them. Extensive counselling must take place. And one donor can have a maximum of 10 children. Varta scrutinises these agreements to ensure that they comply with the law. Dr Miranda Miles helps other couples trying to conceive after having two children from donor eggs herself. I have at the moment a couple of my couples that I work with, they are going to South Australia for their process because we just can't get the eggs into Victoria. It's hoped that more couples trying for a family will have access to donor eggs when the state government opens the first public sperm and egg bank in the next few months. We'll hopefully be able to meet the demand that we currently have in Victoria. Melina Cyrus, 7 News.